Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty rough news, but also at least a few little wholesome news tied on in when it comes to Xbox. Now, as you guys have probably been seeing, we even talked about this as of yesterday with PlayStation, there has been a lot of layoffs going around, to the point where they're actually going and hitting almost every person in the industry. We're seeing now Ubisoft, which we're going to go cover throughout this video, actually potentially see more layoffs. We're seeing even more Microsoft and also in turn Xbox layoffs, and as well, we're just kind of seeing a lot of just kind of uncertainty when it comes to games game making as a whole, and as well a lot of revenues going down. So we're going to talk about this, talk about the drama, talk about everything between what it might mean, and as well just got to sit here and cry for anyone out there who may have lost their jobs or might be losing their jobs very, very soon. I do always hope that they have a chance to land on their feet the best they can. As well, quick reminder too, we are doing a lot of promotions going on right now for the Samsung deals. Link down below, go check those on out and go and see if you guys can find some dope, dope Samsung deals going on. Always a pleasure to work with them on the channel. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below because we're bored. We'll be playing up some uh, probably Zelda and some other stuff all throughout tonight, and of course, the Amazon links, the usual general links, and give me your thoughts and comments down below. So as we've covered, even as of this past few weeks, we saw two PlayStation Studios, one really small and one more on the mid-size, I think it was around like, you know, 90 employees or so, go and have to deal with some layoffs. And we're now also seeing this affecting up even Microsoft even more, even after the 10,000 person layoff that happened earlier on this year. There's also even something on top of that. As well as also going to start off too with Ubisoft, where you guys can see that Ubisoft layoffs could now be seeing as many as 60 employees affected. But as well, we also saw other news about Ubisoft not doing so well, some of their studios potentially shutting down, and, well, it just not being a good, good situation all around. So Ubisoft layoffs could be seeing as many as 60 employees affected as of now, where some employees were even hit off without even giving proper notice. Ubisoft could see layoffs up to 60 employees at two different offices as part of an organizational shift. Both the North Carolina and Newcastle locations are impacted, and these cuts look to be happening in the customer relations side of Ubisoft. The publisher confirmed the job cuts in a statement to Eurogamer, stating, Ubisoft's customer relations center team is evolving its organization to focus on work and have significant impact while remaining steadfast in our commitment to consistently supporting our players anywhere in the world. We estimate that to the organizational changes, 60 team members from our offices in Cary, North Carolina, in the U.S., and Newcastle could be impacted too as well. Although we've been kind of seeing a lot of drama when it comes to Ubisoft. Ubisoft has been losing jobs. They've been shutting down studios. They have not been making as much money as they've been expecting. Expecting. And as well, it's not really kind of cool because we're seeing stuff in Microsoft as of right now, earlier on this year and as of these next upcoming few weeks, having more people getting laid off. We're seeing PlayStation folks as well also getting layoffs too as well, as we kind of saw with like some studios being shut down. Even Riot Games, which has still been printing money on Valorant, League of Legends, all their upcoming IPs, etc., are still having struggles. And this has been really kind of scared to go and see because a few months ago, uh, basically, we had this to go and say. Xbox CEO says Microsoft's decision to cut 10,000 jobs arose from painful choices. Now, it's also been very struggle, too, because some of these companies have not been making as much money, or things like Microsoft, too, as well, and it's just been rough. People are losing jobs all the places. Like, I know it hurts. Thank you for supporting our colleagues as they process these changes. And it just kind of makes us sad because they're trying to go and drop $70 billion on the Activision acquisition, which still is in limbo right now. And they're still spending a lot of money on lawyers, etc. But it's kind of just been all around a rough situation. But nowadays, we even have another big update saying that Microsoft layoffs will now be impacting over another 150 jobs. But a bigger thing is that they're also going to have no new raises or basically like salary growth or expansions or better, better benefits for the employees too as well to kind of go and deal with this ongoing situation. So more local layoffs for Microsoft workers as well as the announcement that full-time employees will not receive raises this year as part of an ongoing cost-cutting measure. That's rough. Mainly kind of goes to show that Xbox has been having issues with their sales. Their Xbox has had issues with like game console, like digital sales too as well. Physical sales, console sales, everything. Game Pass has been also rumorly been going down as well. And it's just not going good too because so much money has been apparently just being affected. Like a lot of folks are just not making as much money as they expect. And as you guys probably know when it comes to a lot of companies, you want to have this ever laying growth where you always want to be making more and more and more money. You want your company to be expanding. That's why we have a stock market to keep on investing more and more. The global GDP want to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. But sadly, it kind of seems like right now that they're just having struggles. So according to a new listing on the State Employee and Security Department website, the company will let another 115 employees go permanently. These layoffs are separate from the 10,000 layoffs from the company announced earlier back in January that we uncovered before. 
Uh, so basically saying organizational and workforce adjustments are a necessary and regular part of our managing our business, a Microsoft spokesperson said in a statement to GeekWire. We will continue to prioritize and invest in strategic growth areas for our future and in support of our customers and partners. So like they're kind of sitting there like sitting straight back. They're saying like, hey, we got some struggles going on. We got some issues going on. We got to make sure we'll have the law, good long term growth for our company. And I guess that does kind of happen like it's normal business, but it's never fun to see this because we're seeing that these companies Something like PlayStation has had a lot of news of them doing like record numbers and record sales and still seeing them go cut off sales. Not the best. Same with Microsoft has been doing very well for their like, you know, their online hosting for other various things. ChatGBT and AI has been getting astronomical basically evaluations. And even then still they're like, well, we still got to lay off even more folks. Once again, it's a business, but for someone in the gaming industry as a whole, I don't like seeing people having these issues. So the layoffs are for all this type of stuff is going to be effective as of May 26th. So a new, brand new wave of layoffs. And obviously with Microsoft, it also does affect a lot of Xbox employees too as well. From the 10,000 folks that were laid off before, uh, there was quite a few of them that were actually involved into Xbox. Whether it's for the marketing division, I think some uh, the Game Pass division was affected very heavily. And as well, we did see a lot of the Halo employees get laid off, where we're just a lot of folks maybe just didn't have enough time money or effort to go and keep on putting towards battle passes, or maybe just wasn't make enough money. Maybe the player base wasn't big enough to actually justify it. Maybe the game pass signification wasn't that good. We don't necessarily fully know, but it wasn't that good as well. So since the beginning of this year, more than 2,700 Seattle area Microsoft workers have been let go, including, like I said, a lot of Xbox folks. Uh, these cuts uh, also follow the trend in the tech sector with other major employers like Facebook, Amazon, and Google cutting hundreds of jobs. So I don't want to go and say it's going to be anything good, bad, or ugly. I have no idea, to be fully honest, exactly like what the scheme is, what the strategy is, or whatever. But it doesn't seem good for the gaming industry as a whole, mainly because gaming is technically tech. And while Nintendo's been doing okay, they've even also tried to go and cut their console production units that they're expecting to go and sell. We still don't have any news to Nintendo Switch Pro. The Xbox right now is having their sales going down for the Xbox Series X and S's, and right now Game Pass is in a slog, and we kind of have to hope that maybe Forza, or more so specifically Starfield, can help out the game itself. So full-time salary employees as well at Microsoft will also not be seeing any pay raises this year as they continue trying to cut cost. Which is also kind of scary, because once again, like if you're working these places, you may want to leave if another place gives you a better offer. But as well, it kind of makes you kind of seem like the whole company's not necessarily in a bad position. Microsoft is one of the biggest companies on the entire planet, like don't get me wrong. But it's more so on like the fact that they don't have any big growth factors, or bonus factors, or promotion factors, or job title change factors. You might be a little bit more skeptical and want to stay there, and it does also kind of give a weird, like a big... Whoa, 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 what's going on with gaming? Why, what's going on? Like, what's happening here? You know, I don't know. <laughs> so basically, in the statement to GeekWire, Microsoft says it will continue to invest in employees through promotions, bonus, and stock, which is nice, but pay raises are where you kind of get the basic staple. And of course, typically, it's like the warning sign. Whenever a company starts kind of like trying to cut down cost or lay off people, that's when like the bonuses, that's when all these extra promotions and stock and stuff like that, that's when things start getting a lot more slowed down. And at a certain point, they either stop or they get like even more and more shrunk as time goes down as well. So it's just, it's just a big warning sign. So as the company, we recognize that navigating both a dynamic economic environment and a major platform shift requires us to make critical decisions on how we invest in our people, our business, and our future. A Microsoft spokesperson said in a statement to GeekWire, as part of that effort, we are funding our compensation to align with the overall market. So once again, they're going to be, well, kind of toning down on the actual like money they're giving out. But they did go and say, and like, until this stops, we'll, go, we'll give them credit. The tech giant announced last year is boosting its annual stock compensation by at least 20 25%. So, like, they are still doing something, which is nice, but it's a little bit scary to go and see. Like, the company itself is not bad, but we're a little bit scared on it nonetheless. Now, we also to go and see even more kind of fun stuff where people were actually going and putting little <laughs> nice little Xbox mini fridges that were dead and turned into little tables all around kind of cute too as well. We've also kind of seen some really kind of cool game signs coming out here where I had a lot of love for the Xbox 360 back in the day for sure. So just in case you guys uh, just remember this, I wish I had the sign where some people actually had a chance to go buy these from local GameStop stores or just game stores in general, and it's just kind of cool to go and see that these are still trolling around. We also saw some really nice wholesome things when it comes to Xbox, from Larry Herb, same. 
Congrats to the true Bowser and the entire Nintendo and uh, teams for launching Tears of the Kingdom, which has been very good. If you guys have liked it, leave your comments and thoughts down below. And as well, we even saw Xbox being wholesome and congratulating Nintendo on the brand new Tears of the Kingdom. And even games like Sea of Thieves popping off and saying, hey, we're not going to shed any tears if you end up wanting to play Zelda instead. These next few days as the game goes and comes on out. So nice little wholesome touch, at least at the top, for Xbox. Just make sure you guys keep on paying your employees good and do less layoffs. We'll be pretty happy. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys check out the Samsung links down below too as well. And check out the brand new Sea deals and sales we have the twitter and twitch if you guys are bored consumed by the twitch and of course all the amazon links too and i appreciate y'all so much for watching in the first place